Okay guys, so today we are gonna go to Lowe's and go to Sally's because we're making a wig wall. <laughs> if nobody knows what a wig wall is, it is a wall where you put all of your wigs. I am tired of putting my beautiful wigs that I just washed in, in my uh, Victoria's Secret bags. So I'm gonna make a wall and I'm gonna get the little heads, little styrofoam heads, real inexpensive, and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So stay tuned, but first, your girl gotta go to the gym. <laughs> Just to let y'all know, before I went to Lowe's, I measured where I wanted to put my, um, we're calling it a wig wall right now. I haven't found another name for it. So yeah, this is where I'm putting it, and this is about 30 inches. That's how I want it. And remember, that piece of wood is gonna be against whatever, so just make sure you measure before you leave. Those are all the options of wood they give you from cheap all the way down to expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece of wood. It's eight feet and I need 30 inches each shelf. And this is, gonna. it comes out to be about 96 inches. So I can at least get three shelves out of that. So normally I do get one piece of wood and it's like $11 or ten dollars and i'll get it cut down into the inches that i want to they usually have a wood cutter in there but the wood cutter was broken not happy <clears throat> so i had to get the pre-cut they have pre-cut shelves that are way more expensive there's they the ones that i was supposed to get were 16 dollars each the ones you can paint and make it the color yourself so i did not get that i ended up getting this right here these were i think five dollars each and I got three of them, so it's already coated and painted. I personally do not like these, but because I like to change the colors of my wood, but it's all they have for cheap. Who was not about to go, walk out of there spending fifty dollars on two shells from me? So okay, so we got our shelves, our brackets, our screws, our drill, and our. Uh, drill bits and our styrofoam heads. So we're gonna take that drill bit, cause I like to drill holes in first before I screw the screws in. It's showing you what it looks like. Try to get the smallest one, cause those are small screws. And uh, place that in there. By the way, y'all, the bed is not the best place to do this on. It needs to be on a flat surface, but who was rushing was me. So there's that. So we're gonna take some screws out. And make sure you check the uh, inches of the screws because those were a little, just literally a centimeter too long for my wood, but I still use them because, you know. All right. And go ahead and drill that hole in and then come back out. Make sure you drill back out. Don't just try to pull out. And then in that same hole, take the screw and drill that in. And then do the same thing for the two other holes at the top of the bracket. Drill back up, yeah.
the sound. 2 a.m. love, gotta keep it down. Don't wait around for a signal now. Give me some verb, I ain't talking now. You wanna ride in the six? You wanna dine in the six? But when I leave for the kiss, you said I'll probably send you some bitch. And I'm like, and that is how you start your shows. Make sure you do this first. Make sure it's so much easier. And it, like I said, it was too long and it ended up getting stuck to another piece of wood. Okay, so now I'm going to place it on the wall exactly where I want it. I've been making my own shelves for a while, so I kind of have a good idea where I want it all the time. And it always ends up straight. I recommend drilling a hole in the wall first before you put the screw in the wall. But who was being impatient was me. So, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, to put up the second shelf, I got a styrofoam head and measured where I would want it with the wigs on it as well. Make sure you have enough space in between. It's not fun trying to get things in a tight space. So now I'm gonna take all my styrofoam heads out and go ahead and put them on the shelves just to give me an idea and make sure I got everything all even and displayed. So guys, this is what it looks like with all the wigs on the shelf. And y'all, I absolutely love it a lot of people prefer float shelves but this is the cheapest way to do it i only ended up spending 40 dollars so here's the finished product <laughs> 